World War II tank. Oh, no, a World War One tank that can transform, but it's super Stop, fucking old. He's there for about 30 seconds. Then there's a paw. No, a fucking jag that's there for two seconds. You literally see him go, oh, shit, and transform, and that's it. That's the rest you see him. You don't see him again. <laughs> at all. Um, who else should they fucking kill? Oh, they kill the big guy voiced by John Goodman, one of the best fucking characters in that movie. Literally, I'm sitting there, I'm like, you are the reason I am actually still watching this film. And then, boom, they're dead. Like, not even, like, they killed him. They're just, just an explosion, that's it. I thought he died in the last movie. No, he lived, apparently. Oh god, I forgot. That movie was so bad. That little fucking toy truck one's still fucking there. What? Toy truck? You know the little blue, blue truck that Megan Fox had in a fucking bag or whatever in a cage? Why is that thing still there? I don't understand it. Like... Oh, uh, and then the fucking little girl! She's like, oh yeah, let's make her a big part of the film. Let's make her another second protagonist to Kade Yeager. Turns out she's only there for half the fucking film as well. <laughs> oh! I completely forgot to mention! So, do you know who the fucking... the main woman? Okay? Uh, she yeah. had no idea who she was. Within... Within about five minutes, they explain that she is a descendant of Merlin. Of course. And that she's the only one that can wield this fucking staff to control this dragon to save the end of the world. It makes sense. Naturally. And apparently... Galvatron... No, um... You, the woman that created fucking... The bitch robot that created Cybertron needs the fucking Earth because apparently the Earth is Unicron and the Unicron is fucking Cybertron! <laughs> It doesn't make any sense! Like, because oh, you've got, you've got Unicron, Unicron is Cybertron, he's the good bit of Cybertron, then you've got, um... Oh, what's his fucking name? Primus, that's it, no, Primus. Primus is Cybertron, and then Unicron is apparently Earth, so are you telling me that fucking, for the past however many fucking years, this big planet that's meant to fucking eat and destroy shit is actually on Earth? Um, yeah. Sounds about right. So it makes no, it makes no fucking sense. Like, how many times? The amount of times and oh, apparently, um, Cybertron is being dragged into fucking the Earth once again, like all the other fucking films. Oh, let's take Earth and steal that and fucking destroy it and eat it because apparently that would do us some fucking good. I liked kind of Mark Wahlberg in the fourth one. I thought, oh, you know, fine, whatever. It's not fucking Shia but but oh my fucking god, why? The acting in it is so fucking poor and so shit and so rushed and so not written! <laughs> it actually angers me. Like, I'm sitting there watching it last night, I'm like, I'm actually, I'm not even bored, I'm just fucking angry, I'm disappointed. That's what I am. Oh, god. Oh, oh, yes! <laughs> this bit is up. I, I kid you not. During that film, they changed clothes about 15 times. Did they change their clothing? 15. They, right, they go into the sub, so they at, so they come to the to the town, whatever it is, the kingdom. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> they're wearing obviously their shitty clothes. Mm. All right, fair enough. Um, oh, I'm trying to fucking play this and trying to run it as well, I can't do it. Um, so... They're wearing clothes. They get, so that's one, okay? They yeah. get to the castle, they change again. She's wearing a really slutty dress for some reason. What's the nice. fucking point? It's not like you need a fucking dress on. The end of the world shit. Sure, yeah, let me show my tits so everyone can know that I want to fuck him. Then they leave the castle, wearing different fucking clothes. Um, Get to the parents' house, which she needs to find apparently her dad's secret fucking place where he hid the staff of doom or whatever. Yep. Um, changed again. So that's four. That's four within like the same chapter or same plot line which going on so far. Uh, they get to the submarine. They're wearing different clothes. They get in the submarine. They're wearing different clothes. They get out of the submarine. They're wearing different clothes. That's seven. At seven times they change clothes within that same kind of plot point. Sounds about right. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so the way <laughs> I don't understand the way they take the way they get Prime to turn evil. Yeah. You know he left you know he left the fucking planet. Yes. Well, he eventually falls on Cybertron. Gets the Cybertron. Here's a woman. 
goes to fight the woman, drops it for some reason, drops his sword. Why? I don't know. Like, to kill someone, wouldn't you need your fucking sword? She grabs him with one tentacle, another one, and executes him, convinces him to be evil. But the leader of the Autobots and the one that holds the all spot, yet yeah, he can't fuck control it. <sighs> You're so and then mad. that's it. Then he, then he turns into Nemesis Prime, which doesn't make any sense anyway, because it's not how it fucking goes. But anyway, then, then um, then that's it. That happens in about five minutes, and then you cut to the next half an hour, and he's back, and it's just them talking again, and that's it. And then boom, he's gone. <laughs> and then boom, he's back. And then he's boom, gone, he's back in about two minutes. So, I haven't actually got to the bit where he lands on Earth, but I do know that it doesn't last very long. I know that he's not evil for very long. Yeah, probably, because they can't write. Made the film. Michael Bay. Oh, he didn't He didn't write it, though, did he? I don't think so. No, he had like nine writers. He had nine writers and they create up that shit? Yeah, because that's the problem with having multiple writers, that you have conflicted ideas constantly and it just becomes a mess. That's why you should always have like one to two writers and that's about it. Oh. But, no. You're also getting another Transformers movie soon though, probably. Yes, but it's not written or directed by Michael Bay. You don't know. I do know. We'll see. We it right now. It's just so shit. Like it's not even funny. Watch that film. You know, I think I've I've lost a lot of brain brain cells in my life. I'm gonna keep these ones. Oh. Yeah. True. It'll be gone after I fucking finish it. 